Okay, I want to show you Vedic math short multiplication and how it compares to how we learn multiplication out here in the West. So here I'm going to do the Vedic version. Here is what we're going to do the Western version of how we learn in the West. Uh, I'm going to show you how we do this version first and you can see why I prefer the Vedic version. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to do this same way that we're taught out school out here in the West in America. And that goes something like this. First, we start with the ones place. So two times five, we say two times five is 10. So we write a zero, carry a one. Two times eight is 16. 16 and one is 17. So we write a seven and carry a one. 2 times 7 is 14, 14 and 1 is 15, so we write a 5 and carry a 1. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 and 1 makes 7. Okay, now I need to do the tens place where we have this 3, so I want to multiply 3 by everything. First, before I do that, I write down a 0. Now I go ahead and get into it. 3 times 5 is 15, so I write a 5 and carry a 1. Now I do 3 times 8. 3 times 8 is 24, 24 and 1 make 25, so I write a 5, carry a 2. 3 times 7 is 21, 21 and 2 make 23, so I write a 3, carry a 2. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 and 2 make 11. Okay, now I need to add these up, so I have 0 here, 7 and 5, 7 and 5 make 12, so I write a 2, carry a 1. That's going to be 11, carry a 1. We have another 11, carry a 1, 2, and 1. So here's our answer. Okay, now what I don't like about this, what I don't like about the Western style is that you're doing all these carries up here. you got to do some carries down here. Um, you got to add everything up, and it takes up a lot of room on your paper, um, especially if you get keep having to do these carries up top. So that's the Western version. Now I want to show you how they do in India, the Vedic version, which I find to be the superior method. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off over here on the right. We're going to say 2 times 5, and then we're going to go 2 times 8, and then this 3 is just going to follow along. So wherever, wherever I'm multiplying this 2, once I multiply 2 by 7, 3 is going to be by the 8. So it's kind of, kind of trail along behind the 2. So, and we're going to add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the first one, I'm going to do 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. So instead of writing a, you know, a 0 and carrying a 1, instead of doing this idea of writing a 0 and carrying 1, I'm going to do my carries down here by simply writing it like this, 10. Okay, write a 0, carry a 1. Okay, now I'm going to do 2 times 8, and I'm going to add 3 times 5. So 2 times 8 gives us 16, plus 3 times 5 is 15. So 16 plus 15 gives us 31. So I write a 3, carry a 1. Or excuse me, <laughs> it's the other way around. We'll write a 1, carry a 3. Okay, I just kind of write it like this, 31. Okay, next we have 2 times 7 plus 3 times 8. So 14 plus 24, 14 and 24 make 38. So I'm going to write it like that, 38. Next we have 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 times 7 is 21, so 6 plus 21 make 27. Okay, next we have... Uh, 3 times 3, because the 2, the 2 just kind of peters out. Okay, keep nothing over here, so 2 times 0. So we do 3 times 3, that's 9. That's our last step there. Now we do all our carries this way. So starting at the right, we have a 0. 1 and 1 is 2. 8 and 3. 8 and 3 make 11, so right of 1, carry another 1. 7, 3, and 1 is 11, so write a 1, carry another 1. And then 9, 1, and 2 make 12. So here's my answer. Okay, the reason I find this to be a better way is because 
you're doing less carries. Okay, I don't have two rows of carries. I just have one row of carries. Okay, and I'm not doing all this addition. All this addition was being done as we were going through. So we're going to go do a couple of these Vedic short multiplication examples um, just so you can kind of get the hang of it. I'll show you the pattern, uh, what it looks like as a pattern with no numbers written out. Okay, so here's the pattern by a, for a 5 by 2. Okay, so what we have is, remember we're starting off in the right-hand column. So let's say I have a number 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm multiplying it by 22. Okay, this place is represented by this dot. This 4 is represented by this dot and so on. This 5 is represented by this dot in this visual pattern. So we started off here. Okay, then the second step. In the second step, this 2 is multiplied by the 3, and we add the 4 plus 2. So everything that's starting off at this, where this 2 placed, where this placement is the, the 1's place, I put in red. Okay, so you can kind of follow along. So it starts here, next it goes this way, and then this one starts in. And then this one goes to the next one. And this one just, this, this place here just keeps kind of following along right behind the 1's place. So step number four, you can see it goes all the way here to the fourth digit. And this tens place, it just follows behind it. So it goes all the way. This one just kind of follows behind. There's nothing out here, so that one, it just peters out. And then this one follows behind it. So this is kind of the pattern of what we're doing when we're doing a multiplication like this. We just start. And this is called uh, vertically and crosswise. It's a Vedic math. It's an Indian from India. This is a great cultural treasure that they gave to the world. This Vedic math, the short multiplication. I really wish they would do this type of stuff in the schools out here in the West. I think it's a superior method. So let's get into a couple examples. Uh, before we go ahead, why don't you go ahead and put this video on pause and then just kind of write down this pattern Write it down on a piece of paper so you could so you could have it uh, for whenever you need it. Um, it's going to make your multiplication problems very very easy, very very fast, and very effective. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start off right here. Four times four. Four times four that gives us sixteen. We write it like this: sixteen. Okay, next we're going to do 4 times 3 plus 3 times 4. So we've got 4 times 3 plus 3 times 4. So we're going to multiply 4 times 3 and then we're going to add. This is vertically and crosswise. We're doing a crosswise. So 4 times 3 plus 3 times 4. So that's 12 plus 12. That gives us 24. Next we're going to say 4 times 1 plus three times three. So four times one plus three times three. It's here, four times one plus three times three. So we have four plus nine. Four plus nine gives us 13. Okay, next step, four times two plus three times one. So eight, I'll write this out, four times two plus three times one. So that's 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3 gives us 11. So we write a 1. 1 and 1 like this, 11. Next step. If you, and if you ever lose track of what step you're on, it's real easy. How many, how many digits do I have down here? 4. So that means I'm on the 5th step. So the 5th step is here. You're always starting here. There's 1, 2, 3, 4 steps. So here's the 5th step. So we're going to say 4 times 1 plus 3 times 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 times 2 is 6. So I'm going to do 4 times 1 plus 3. 4 times 1 plus 3 times 2. 4 plus 6, that's 10. So we write it like this, 10. Okay, next step. This 4, just there's nothing out here. So it's kind of we stop multiplying by the 1s. We're going to say 3 times 1, that's 3. 
Okay, now we do our carries kind of like this. Starting at the right, we have a six, four and one make five, two and three make five, one and one make two, one and zero make one, and three and one make four. So here we have our answer. 412,556. Okay, see how much room this saves on your paper? Now, you don't have to write these down. The reason I'm writing these down is for your benefit. What's the time you could do these in your in your head, you know? Four times one plus three times three. You could just think in your in your mind, four times one, four plus nine, that makes 13. So you don't really need to write all this down. You can if you want. And then look at this. Look at how, how great this is. The carries. There's no carries up top. There's nothing being added down here. No, no addition. It's a real quick way, real clean way. It saves you room on your paper. Save the environment. Save some room on your paper. Okay, let's do another example. Okay, 16,475 multiplied by 35. First step, we start over here at the right hand. So 5 times 5 gives us 25. Next step, we're going to say 5 times 7 plus 3 times 5. So 35 plus 15, 35 and 15, that makes 50. Okay, next step, here we have 20 plus 21. 20 and 21 make 41. Next step, 5 times 6, that's 30. 4 times 3 is 12, so 30 and 12 make 42. Okay, next step, 5 times 1, that's 5. 3 times 6, that's 18. 18 and 5 make 23. Okay, and last step, we have 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Now we do our carries this way. 5, 2, 6, 6, 7, 6. Oh, excuse me. 5. 3 and 2 make 5. So there's our answer. See how quick, how quick this is? How much room it saves on your paper? It's incredible. I'm really surprised they don't teach this. So that's how fast you could get your answer doing this Vedic math, this short multiplication trick. It's called vertically and crosswise. Okay, there you go, vertically and crosswise. It's a magic word formula. Okay, let's try another problem. Okay, what if we're only multiplying it by one digit? <laughs> it's real easy. We're just going to do all our carries down below. Instead of doing our carries up top, we're just going to do them down below. So 7 times 7, that gives us 49. 7 times 4. It's 28. 7 times 3, that's 21. 7 times 2 is 14. Finally, 7 times 1 is 7. Remember, you do our carries this way. We have a 9, 8, and 4. 8 and 4 make 12, so do like this. That's going to be a 4, 6, and 8. So here's our answer. Real quick and easy. Okay, 8, 6, 4, 2, 9. Now, if you're going along through these problems, and you could you could kind of do these carries as you're going along, um, if you want, if you could do that in your head, um, you don't have to save the carries till the very end, but you can if you want. It's the way I like to do it. Okay, I'll show you guys one more example, and then what I recommend is that you just create your own math problems and work them out. See how fast you could do them. Try and increase your speed, increase your accuracy. You will definitely, after doing a couple of these, uh, fully realize the the um, the power that this method gives you. Okay, so three times three, that's going to give us nine. Next, we're going to do three times eight plus six times three, so twenty-four and eighteen. Twenty-four and eighteen give us forty-two. Next, we're going to say three times four plus six times eight, so that's twelve. That's 48, 12 and 48 give us 60. Okay, next step, 3 times 6. 
3 times 6 is 18. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 and 18 give us another 42. And then finally, 6 times 6, that's 36. So here we do our carries this way. Okay, so starting at the right, 9, 2, 4, 8. All right, a 0, carry a 1, and a 4. So here's our answer. Okay, I hope you guys can use this. I hope you all can use this. Just write out your own problems. Follow the pattern. Uh, keep practicing until you can increase your speed. And before you know it, you'll be acing your exams. <laughs> Especially once you get to college, they don't allow calculators. You'll be doing this stuff really fast. Uh, nobody uses these methods out here in the West. And it's a, real, it's a real shame, like I was saying, that the schools don't implement the style of math. So just know that you're definitely going to have an advantage over the other students if you know these techniques. Uh, if you made it to the end, I want to thank you for watching. Please press the like button. Uh, leave a comment if you like these type of videos. If you have any questions and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. If you like this kind of content, uh, please, please show me like it. Just Press the like button, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.